What's up guys, it's your boy Nintendo Craft Studios here, aka NCOS07, and today I'm going to be doing my very first collection video, so, um, and I'm going to be posting a few more of these videos, but I posted a poll on YouTube asking you guys about, like, collection videos, because I wanted to do some collection videos because I've got a lot of games. Now, today is going to be the first part of this whatever you want to call it, and also, sorry if the quality doesn't necessarily look the best on this video, uh, I, my tripod right now does not necessarily work very well, so I do plan on hopefully finding another way to get better quality in, but, oh well. So, I'm going to be going through my GameCube collection, um, I have a lot of GameCube games, not that I really play it lot, a lot, like, don't get me wrong, the GameCube is probably one of the most important Nintendo systems of all time. I mean, many people would say that was when Nintendo was at their best. And I agree. I agree. They put out a lot of games. It's because I, like, I grew up with the Wii. I didn't really grow up with the GameCube. And I don't know. But I always do like, I still, I still respect the GameCube. And I just, I respect it for what it is, and I think the games are really good, and it's also just fun collecting. So, we're going to take a look at all these games, that's what I'm looking at right now. And I'm going to be going in alphabetic order, so I've got a lot of games, let's get this started. So, the first game we've got is 1080 Avalanche. Um, this game, I actually have not played yet. Um, yeah, and try and get the glare, there we go. Um, I have not played this game yet, uh, it looks like a... Uh, Jesus, I, it's another one of the snowboard, snowboarding games, um, I, I believe it's a successor to 1080 snowboarding on the Nintendo 64, so, I definitely should give this game a try sometime, because it actually does look quite good, um, and this is actually one of the more recent GameCube games I got, I think I got it last year at MGC, yeah, I got it last year at MGC for, I believe, five bucks, the game is, was stupid cheap. So that's that. Next, we've got Animal Crossing. Oh my god, again with the glare. Uh, Animal Crossing, uh, lots of good things to say about this game. The first Animal Crossing game, if you don't got the N64 version. And really good game. I haven't played as much as, much as this one compared to the other games because, again... The other games just, they were, they just, I feel like the other games are a little better in my opinion. Lots of people do say they really like this game and like whatever the new one is, but I didn't play a lot. I didn't really play a lot of this game, but it's still a really good game. I would definitely recommend getting it because, I don't know, it's, it's just a fun game. Then we've got Burnout. Now, I actually haven't played this game, um, as the disc is actually broken every time i've used it on my gamecube it always says error message so this game does not work which is actually okay because i actually do own the sequel uh burnout 2 point of impact um i own this game and this one does work and it's actually not too bad it's actually a quite fun racing game like with like the crashing and whatnot um if you guys like racing games Give this one a go. This is a lot of fun, to be honest. Don't have much more to say. <laughs> that's that's a common tr trend you'll see. Now we've got two games. I'm going to actually show two of them because they both control the same way. Um, Donkey Konga and then Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Now, these games are compatible with the DK Bongos, and I do own a pair of the Bongos, but... Well, one set of bongos, but I don't have them on me right now. Um, but um, I haven't really played a lot of Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, so yeah, take a look at that. But I have played a good amount. Of, I have played some Donkey Konga, and it is a lot of fun. Like it's a really cool rhythm game that I'd like to see Nintendo bring back sometime. Like it's a it's a really unique kind of game. I would like to see it again sometime. Next time on to the next pile of games, uh, Kirby Air Ride. Um, I haven't played a lot of this game. I've owned it for a, quite a long time, but I haven't really played a lot of this game. Um, it didn't really grab my attention nearly as much, but um, it's a fun game. I I kind of want to see this game get remastered for the Switch 
or potentially get a Kirby Air Ride sequel. That'd be really cool. Um, and I and this probably might be the more rare game, the most rare GameCube game I own because this game's like expensive. I paid like thirty bucks for the game, I think, back in the day. And like, and this game like now was like seventy bucks. Like, holy snap! But yeah, Kirby's Air Ride or Kirby Air Ride, really fun game. Not much else to say. Next, we've got my favorite GameCube game of all time, Luigi's Mansion. Um, this is pro and, there, and this is this is probably my favorite game ever on the GameCube because this is a game that was truly remarkable. And I've talked a lot about how I love Dark Moon and Luigi's Mansion Three, but I love this game. This is the one like Mario game that's so different. It's just brilliant because. I don't know, it has so much charm, like the atmosphere and the more dark, realistic sort of thing that you wouldn't see in any other Mario game, makes it so unique and really memorable, For and it's a great game, like, honestly speaking, my favorite game on the GameCube, don't know if I like it more than Dark Moon or 3, but regardless, this is a great game. Pick it up. I think it's like 30 bucks, so it's not that bad. Or just play the 3DS version, which is worse. And next we got Mario Kart Double Dash. Um, I played. I haven't played this game too much. I played the game a good amount, but um, really fun Mario Kart game. A really unique Mario Kart game, too, since you have like two people per car. Um, it's really fun. I... Don't have much to say. It's probably one of the better Mario Kart games. Uh, personally speaking, I don't... It's fine, but I don't know if I really prefer it to the other games. But I will, I will say I do appreciate this game's uniqueness. It has its own identity unlike other Mario Kart games. And yeah, Double Dash is just a great game. Next we've got um, Midway Arcade Treasures. Now, I haven't played a lot of this, but... Uh, based on the box and like how it has like a bunch of, let me see if I can get that. You maybe you can see it, um, but if um, it's got like a lot of arcade games on there, like Paperboy, Gauntlet, Joust, Defender, Spy Owner. It has like a lot of those old school arcade games. Um, I haven't played. I don't really think I've played it that much, given the fact that I've owned it almost ever since I first got a GameCube, but. I'll say it's cool. I'd say it's a cool little game. Uh, next, we've got Namco Museum. Um, this is honestly only okay. I I I, I like I like Namco Museums, but this one's kind of eh, in my eyes. This one has uh, Pac Man. Um, actually, uh, it comes with Pac Man, then Pac Man Arrangement, which is like a not like a better version of the game. Uh, Galaga, and then a remade version of Galaga, um, Pole Position, Pole Position 2, Galaxian, Dig Dug, Dig Dug, remade version, Miss Pac-Man, and I think it has Pac-Mania and Pac-Attack in there as well, so, um, cool game, um, I wouldn't necessarily say I like it the most, mainly because I grew up with Namco Museum 50th Anniversary, and you'd think that's the one I'm going to show you, but no, I don't actually have 50th Anniversary, because, um, when I owned a Wii, and, th and I'm not going to, and this isn't the collection part, but this is just a little trivia, when I had a Wii, I actually did own two GameCube games, Namco Museum 50th Anniversary and Super Monkey Ball 2. When we eventually got a Wii U, we sold our Wii and the two GameCube games, and that was sad, and that's kind of the reason why I won the GameCube again, so I could replay those games and also find other great gems, and... With Super Monkey Ball 2, I did eventually get that game back. You'll see it later in the collection. But with Namco Museum 50th Anniversary, I never got it. I never... I don't know why. I really should get the game again. I might pick it up at MGC if they have it there, but... Yeah. That's all I've got. Maybe it'll probably happen in a future collection video where I'll get it, but... That's really all I've got. Just checking things. Okay. Next, we've got um, Pac-Man Versus and Pac-Man World 2. Um, Pac-Man Versus, 
a really fun mo- multiplayer Pac-Man game where like the some players play as the ghost and one plays as Pac-Man. Um, really cool. And Pac-Man World 2, I haven't played a lot of it, but it is a lot. Of, it's fun. It's cool. Not much else to say. And then, the Holy Grail of the Paper Mario series, maybe Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Um, I think I've played the least out of this game compared to the other games, which is a real shame because this game is so good. Like, many people consider this game to be the best Paper Mario game, especially after the later entries. And, yeah, a lot of people want this game remade. I do want to see this game get, like, some remaster or something like that, although I would want to see one of the original Paper Mario more. But regardless, Thousand Year Door is an all-around stellar Paper Mario game, an all-around stellar GameCube title. And next, we've got Pikmin. Now, I have not beaten Pikmin, and I haven't played a lot of this game. This... I don't know. This is the first Pikmin game I have I've played, and the only Pikmin game I actually have ever played and own. Um, it's a cool game. It looks amazing for a GameCube game. Like it, it's so cool. Like graphics wise, I really like it. Um, Pikmin, it's a fun game, although it does have a time limit, which is kind of annoying. But like, regardless, this is a great game, but. It wasn't necessarily my cup of tea, but I respect the Pikmin series and really am excited to see what Pikmin 4 will look like on the Switch if it happens. Next we've got um, Raymond Arena. Now, uh, this is... Bo- I don't I haven't played this one yet. I think it's like a Rayman fighting game. It's got like Rayman like from Rayman Oranges and whatnot. I haven't played this game yet, so... We'll just put that back there. Uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Um, Jesus. There we go. Super Mario Sunshine. Really great Mario game. Really unique Mario game because of like the flood. It changed so much stuff. The game's story. The voice acting, even though it was garbage, it still had voice acting. That's something different. And the tropical feeling of the game. I, one of the better Mario games, although I will be honest, I didn't really enjoy the game as much as I thought I would. Probably just, I think it has to do with the fact that I don't like the game's controls. I always, I've always, i always felt like this game's controls are kind of eh, to be honest. I don't know, they just don't control as well as that of like Super Mario Galaxy or Super Mario 3D World or Odyssey. But it's, and it's, again, it's a real shame because this is a great Mario game. Honestly, again, just like Kirby's Air Ride, I want to see this game get remade someday. Like, this game has so many problems, but I really want to see, I want this game to get remade. Because it's a great game, regardless. Next, we've got Super Monkey Ball, just the original, um, really fun game. I love, su- I've loved Monkey Ball, going, rolling through ball, like, in a ball to the goal. Lots of fun, and the first Monkey Ball game is really fun. I really can't say much more about it. It's a fun game. But I will be honest, even though I like Monkey Ball 1 a lot, I still like Super Monkey Ball 2 more. And, yeah, I did eventually get Super Monkey Ball 2. And if you didn't actually know, this is actually not the original box art. This is actually printed out box art I got online. You can see, like, the white edges at the top. Um, because I printed it out because I didn't, the box didn't have a case, like, box art. But Monkey Ball 2 is my, probably, almost my favorite Monkey Ball game. I like Banana Blitz. Yes, I said that. But I think Monkey Ball 2 might be my second favorite. Possibly my favorite. Because I love the gameplay. I love the music. It does everything that the first game did so well. And just makes it a lot better. The a, a phenomenal sequel. It's probably one of the best sequels. And, yeah, that's all I've really got to say. It's is a great game. Play it if you can. It's a lot of fun. Um, next, we've got uh, Super Monkey Ball Jr. Uh, no, Adventure. Sorry. Um, Super Monkey Ball Adventure. I haven't played a lot of this one because this one's so different from the... Other two Monkey Ball games. The other two Monkey Ball games, 
were very similar to one another, but Super Monkey Ball Adventure is kind of different. I think this one has like a story in it, but I only really pl ever played the levels, and I gotta be honest, I don't like the game that much compared to the other games. I don't know, it just feels like a, sh it just feels like a shadow of the other Monkey Ball games. I don't know. Give it a shot if you're into Monkey Ball, but it was definitely not my favorite <laughs> Monkey Ball game. It's definitely... Uh, but that's how I feel. Next, we probably got everyone else's favorite GameCube game, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Um, I do have a lot of good things to say about this game. This game has a great roster of characters, albeit a lot of clones. And it also has great it has great controls, great gameplay, fast gameplay, um, a lot of modes, trophies, so much other stuff. Um, to be honest, I really don't have much to say. And this is probably the GameCube game I had to pay the most money for because this game cost sixty bucks. Um, yeah, Smash Melee is a great game. I will be honest though, I don't know if, I don't like it as much as Ultimate. I do like Ultimate and Smash 4 a lot more just because I, I got used to them a lot more. Melee requires a bit of a learning curve. It's not the exact same thing as that of like Smash 4 and Ultimate. And that's fine, but yeah, and I and I am not a competitive person. I, I that's just how I am. But all, But regardless, Melee is a great game. And probably the GameCube's best gem. And then next we got another gem. The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Um, this is a really great Zelda game. I really like this game. Personally, I do like the HD remake of the game a little, a lot more. I prefer it a lot more because I love the resolution and the frame rate. It's just great and I just love it. But... I will always respect the GameCube game. Wind Waker is probably one of the best Zelda games out there. I do, I'm not sure if it's my favorite because I do still have yet to beat this game. I have beaten Breath of the Wild and that might be my favorite Zelda, but Wind Waker will always be one of my favorite Zelda games. And really, it's a great game all around. Try it if you haven't. Next we've got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Uh, I have not played much of this. I haven't really play a lot of that. It's skateboarding kind of game, so yeah, I would say it's a good game. And then last and least, um, sorry, Wave Race Blue St Wave Race Blue Storm. And this game is also one of the more recent games that I only got for 14 bucks. And I picked this one up at MGC as well. Um I have not played this game either. But, um, I do like the idea of the game. Essentially, it's kind of like a jet ski racing kind of game, and it sounds really cool. And based on the, like, gameplay, it looks like fun. Um, maybe someday I'll get around, excuse me, to eventually playing this game, or, or maybe they can, or who made this? I guess... Well, I get oh, Nintendo. Well, I guess maybe like maybe they can remaster this for the Switch, or maybe they can give us a brand new Wave Race game. Because I'll be honest, this game looks really intriguing. To be honest, I like the jet ski sort of thing. It's a unique kind of thing that is kind of cool. And that right there is my GameCube collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want to see more of these. Actually, you will be seeing more of these pretty soon. I'm going to be doing my Wii collection next is what I'm assuming, or the 3DS collection. I'm not sure which one. But regardless, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Take care.